to meet the needs and challenges catalyzed by COVID-19, clinicians are not only looking to artificial intelligence to transform the way that they treat and care for the patients, but they're also looking at additional software applications and technologies, such as advanced visualization and 3D printing. This is the GE Healthcare European headquarters based out of Buc, which is on the outskirts of Paris. And Adeline Degas, who I'm about to go and talk to, and a team are doing just this. Adeline should be just over here. Adeline, bonjour. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, yeah, good thanks, good thanks. So, artificial intelligence, you're the person here at GE Healthcare's headquarters in Europe. You're the one that's leading the team here. Uh, what's it all about? The idea is really to uh, make some automation to facilitate the review of medical imaging for the physician, for radiologists, but also to increase the performances in terms of diagnosis, in terms of efficiency, in terms of productivity. And so that's uh, something uh, we started to work on uh, in 2018. And now we are very familiar with the process, with how we can increase uh, the, the benefit for the patient at the end. So that's why it's really important for us to go ahead in this direction and to try to be more and more efficient in terms of disease. So, How has COVID-19 affected the way that uh, you are now advancing yeah. your work with AI, not just AI, but advanced visualization and 3D printing? A very, very good acceleration was done because of the COVID, because the disease is here. Uh, we, we need to be very reactive to provide a very good solution to physicians. That's why we made uh, this uh, prototype for Professor Revel to start to work on the lung disease and to evaluate the patient uh, cases. And in, with that, at the end, what we want to do is really to improve uh, the workflow for the, the, the radiologist to be able to accelerate the diagnosis. The idea is really to make a very deep, deep analysis and diagnosis for the patient. I was down at uh, Hospital Cochin talking to uh, Professor Revel and she showed me literally the hours of time, energy and resource that she was having to go in to assimilate and, and find and input the data points on, on 10,000 yeah. CT scans of the chest. That information is going to be critical, isn't it, to the work that you're doing in trying to build an algorithm? How yeah. does that work? If you want to develop a very, very uh, deep uh, algorithm with uh, artificial intelligence, you need a lot of data. Most data you have, the best it is. You need to work deeply on disease, you need to make uh, some um, manual uh, annotation on images, and then you are going to build the first uh, step of the algorithm. And after that, to train your algorithm, you are going to feed it with other data to make it better and better and better. Technologies are moving on at a, at a quick pace, right? So you've got advanced visualization, 3D printing, uh, and I believe you've got some of this. Yeah, let me show you what is advanced visualization for GE Healthcare and what we are going to do in the future. Why advanced visualization is important is because advanced visualization provides a portfolio of software in which you are going to find exactly what you want to analyze specific disease. It can be for the lungs, it can be for the uh, abdominal, it can be for pain, for head, for vessels, for every part of the body. So what we try to do every day in advanced visualization is to define the most appropriate application to uh, certain disease or to certain organs. So this is uh, a case in CT scanner. So for the patient, we have uh, the thoracic part and uh, the abdominal part. And what the customer wants is to identify the vertebrae very quickly. And thanks to an AI algorithm, what we did here is a tool that labels automatically the, uh, the vertebrae. So for the, pa for the radiologist, no time waste to count vertebrae. Everything is done automatically. So how are technologies like artificial intelligence, advanced visualization and 3D printing, how are they going to influence the way that clinicians are treating uh, COVID-19 in the future, if there's a second wave, for example? Unfortunately, if the second wave is uh, exactly like the first one, that means a lot of patients will come to the emergency department. And so the, 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 the benefit of the artificial in, uh, intelligence is really to answer quickly, quickly, very quickly. See images, diagnose, treat, and that's all. So how important is digitalization, not just for COVID, but for, for normal issues that are now getting back on track and being addressed because the first wave, if you like, of COVID has, has sort of passed? 
Uh, I, I think for the COVID, but also for other diseases, what is really uh, challenging today is to keep uh, the, the focus of radiologists on the disease, not on automation, on manual tasks that can be done by automation. So, you know, that, that's important. Save time, save brain for diagnosis and analysis and give us some, um, give them some um, uh, automation and tools to save time really to focus on what is the most important for the patient. For instance, counting vertebrae is not really important for the radiologist. What is important is to make the diagnosis related to this vertebrae. Adley, uh, uh, really interesting look into what technology is uh, doing for COVID, but also beyond COVID. Thanks very much. Thank you too.